This is a fly that's very popular in my home waters, but relatively unknown everywhere else. We'll start this pattern by grabbing some red UTC and securing it to our hook shank. Snip the excess free and continue wrapping your thread to the bend of the hook. We will then grab some ginger marabou, securing it tightly to the back of the fly. In order to build up the body, we'll fold over the marabou, wrap our thread forward, and then fold the marabou back towards the bead, securing it in place. Further secure the marabou to your hook shank, and this is a quick way to build up a body. Snip the excess free and grab some gold estaz. Pulling off the tips, exposing the braided line, and secure it to the back of the fly. Once complete, we will start to wrap our thread forward, taking time to completely cover any exposed feathers. This is a key step in producing this pattern. Once complete, we will grab our gold estaz and begin wrapping it forward in open spirals, using your fingers to pull the estaz backwards each wrap to ensure you don't trap any underneath. Once at the bead, we will secure the estaz in place, taking wraps both in front and behind, snipping the excess free. We can then grab a whip finisher and build up a prominent band at the head of our fly. This is a hot spot that's very characteristic of this pattern. And this is the Golden Retriever. Originally invented for panfish, it is also extremely successful for trout and salmon. If you'd like to try this fly, but don't tell yourself, you can visit my website listed below. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.